Hey, what's up guys? This is a, uh, this video has been a long time coming. I got a lot of questions about uh, how to make belt loops uh, and how to make them consistently. Uh, previously, in a little video I talked about, uh, I briefly mentioned uh, these jigs. These were made for me by John over at End of Days Tactical. You can check them out on Facebook. They're making uh, Kydex holsters as well and doing a very good job of it. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the uh, dimensions of this jig just so you can make your own. All right, so the way it's gonna work is that you're gonna take your, you know, your warm belt loops, put them in here, press that down, and then use this setup to um, basically as a mold or a die. It's pretty straightforward, right? So in order to make this, so for instance, this one, as you can see, is for an inch and three quarters. I have them for an inch and a half uh, and two inches as well. I'm just going to go over the dimensions of this real quick. So for instance, the depth of this is a half an inch. And um, while this die is exactly an inch and three quarters, you want this gap here to be uh, two inches, at which uh, you're adding about a quarter of an inch. Because each of these, since they're uh, the 125 thousandths, that works out to a, uh, about an eighth of an inch a piece. So together, you get another quarter inch of thickness, so you want to accommodate that. So, so for instance, if you're doing uh, an inch and a half mold, this little gap here is going to be about one point size. But, uh, it's going to be, you're going to add a quarter inch to that, right? So you're going to have an inch and three quarters gap with an inch and a half die, right? So, <coughs> pardon me. I start off with these. This is just a uh, six inch by three quarter inch strip of the 125 thousandths, which uh, I'm not going to show you right now because it's a kind of a waste of camera time. Uh, you round it off and then you buff the whole thing down. You can use uh, you can be real aggressive with the buffing and uh, sort of break all the edges on this guy so it's uh, nice and smooth, right? Because you don't want it to like chew up your belt or what have you. So I start with these and then I put them in the oven at just about the lowest setting here. Uh, usually I try to give you a specific temperature for what's going on inside the oven. But since these strips are so small, I really can't really get a good idea if I'm reading the temperature of the hot tray inside or the strips themselves. So uh, I'm going to use the technical term of floppy to describe the to describe the ideal state of these strips. And now, like any good cooking show, of course, I already have some in the oven that are warming up, and getting ready to go. And I'll show you how I do this. Now, so there are sometimes where uh, you can use your press for this uh, for this whole thing here, and uh, you might need, you know, for instance, in order for the the press to act on this die up the, the the plate up here, you might need a little adapter. So I rigged something extremely shoddy up that does the job. It's just you know a little extension block for this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add my other clamp in over on this side. I'm sorry, it's in the way of the camera here. I'm trying to tilt this so that you can see what's what's happening. So you can make every kind of belt loop you would uh, want with this. Uh, so right about here you can see I've got marked on here about an inch of overhang and that inch is going to fold over onto this guy here. Now you can start with uh, you can start with whatever length makes sense to you in regards to these. Uh, I use six inches because I use these blanks for a number of different things, like uh, components of our skeleton holsters and for some styles of J-hook. I just start with these six inch blanks, so I make a ton of them and have them around. So here we go. Let's see. Are you guys floppy enough yet? Uh, we're getting it. Uh, early on you might want to leave those uh, to heat up a little bit more so you have an increased working time in case you're still managing all of your uh, all the dexterity involved in here. So we'll let those guys heat up for another second and then we'll uh, get to pressing. So we're back and uh, these guys here are sufficiently soft and floppy as you can see so I'm going to put them in here uh, shiny side up and finished side out with a little bit of maybe a little bit more than an inch of overhang. I'm going to press the die into here. I'm going to take this block and I'm going to use the block to fold these over on the top here like that. I'm going to take my shoddy adapter plate, put it on top, and wrestle my gloves out of the way, and then just bring the press down as normally and apply the pressure. This is 
really, really straightforward. But what this does is it gives you uh, consistent belt loops. And of course, depending on the size of your setup here, you can make, you know, however big you want this to be, you can, you can make as many belt loops simultaneously as you can manage. So let me crank this down, <coughs> lock that in there, and we're good to go. And when we're when we're back, I'll show you how I uh, how I measure and no, oh, pardon me, how I measure and cut and drill them and the rest. So these guys set up pretty quick. There's no, they're not that large, so they don't retain a whole lot of heat. And as you can see, they come out on the uh, the thing pretty perfectly. But what you'll notice is that there's some overhang here, and this you know gives you a lot of leeway in terms of uh, you know making them fit whatever your project is. And additionally, this overhang, like I mentioned, is the result of these strips being cut to fit a mul uh, multitude of applications. So we'll just uh, come right off, just like that. And uh, what I have here is just a little uh, template that I use. So for instance, uh, those holes are spaced exactly to correspond with, you know, for instance, the, the uh, spacing of the eyelets on the holster. And this allows me to, you know, this it's also the same dimension, you know, the top of this uh, template matches up with that. So this allows me to make a number of these without actually, you know, necessarily having a holster in my hand. So I can just uh, take this, line it up with the top of the uh, top of the jig here, my uh, template, and I'm going to mark and mark. There we go. Those are where my holes are going to be. And basically all I do the rest of the way is drill those, cut that here, and round and buff that. That's not something that uh, uh, needs to be illustrated necessarily because that's all stuff that you're already doing anyway with your holster. So uh, that's the quick little one, two, three tutorial on uh, on making belt loops, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. You know, of course, you can do these with the uh, the um, more U-shaped belt loops instead of these uh, P-shaped ones. You just uh, instead of using the top piece of the die to uh, fold it all over, you just uh, press it down flat, and it'll flare out any way you want. Uh, so they're pretty straightforward. Good luck, guys. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments or email me. Take it easy.